to get the digestive enzymes there to assist in that digestion so that we're not spending as long digesting or taking it in and, and, and working and working and working. So the acid reflex perhaps is when our food feels like it's about here, you can't lay down right, comfortably. Right. Why, wh why not do a simple thing and take a digestive enzyme which helps you digest it and keep it from pushing? What we do sometimes is take a chemical band-aid and what that does is it stops the digestion. Okay, I don't have the pressure now. I don't have the reflex. But that's not necessarily the answer. It's still there. It still has to be handled. You have to deal with it. And if you have the digestive enzymes, as we were created to deal with our problems, then it begins to successfully and easily digest that food. Thus, the problem goes away. So you're saying that your product could help millions of people who are suffering with digestive problems who are taking a prescription medication. Yours is a natural alternative. I have had people tell me that they had the problem to the, to the extent they were looking for surgery or anything that would give them relief. And after several days, found relief. And so I can only go by what they tell me, but it's happened hundreds and hundreds of times. Well, doctor, why aren't medical doctors telling us about this? I mean, this sounds like a, a revolutionary product that's going to alleviate some mineral deficiencies, helps people with indigestion. You said it gives you more energy. Why in the world aren't these doctors giving us this information rather than the prescription drugs that they're giving us? You know, that's a beautiful question. And because I'm not a marketing person or a salesman, all I know is what I learn, and I have probably kept it pretty much to myself or explained it or used it in formulas, animals, livestock, etc. And yet, tell me how many classes a medical doctor would take on the natural way to handle problems, to understand that the body is all electric and that there are minerals, vitamins, enzyme assisted that can solve so many problems. They don't know that. And someday they will turn more and more to alternative medicine. I want to talk about that because you mentioned something that just hit me. You know, because of this program, and I'm sure others like it, people are now going to start hearing about fulvic minerals. So, I don't, why wouldn't they just race out and buy one off the shelf? Why would they want to pick your product? I would say that probably I have more collected research on the subject. It took me nine years to put the first book together, and it was published in 1993, and now we are seeing a movement toward this, and that is so rewarding to me, and people are finding it to be an answer. You, matter of fact, let's talk about that. You said earlier when I, matter of fact, I skimmed through this last night. I, you know, I only had it for one day, so I wasn't able to read the whole book. This thing is huge, and it took you how many years of research and how many years uh, did it actually take you to write this book? Because the thing must weigh about 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact, it does weigh five, and it's almost oh. a thousand pages. And uh, the, the, the time it took was a little over nine years from point of beginning until it went to the publisher in 1993. And through the research and information that you've compiled over all these years, you've come to the conclusion that people are deficient in this fulvic mineral and if they can naturally get it back into their body, then they can start to see a benefit in a lot of the diseases and illnesses that we're suffering from. That's correct. And anybody can take a look at it. They can experiment with it themselves. But what they will find is that they write their own ticket as to health or lack of it. The problem, though, was that even though DDT was banned, they still make it in the United States. Yep. 
and they just ship it they offshore it. down yep. so south yep. and our vegetables our tomatoes come back with DDT they on call it them. offloading a lot of people don't know that but just because something's been banned here in the United States doesn't mean it's banned offshore that's you know, correct the pharmaceutical companies have to make their money from somewhere let's talk about you know these pesticides and chemicals are being sprayed on the earth they're contaminating our foods how do I know that those pesticides and chemicals aren't winding up in this product ah very important this is mined from down in the earth. This is a material that has not been exposed to it. You see, after Rachel Carson's book, they actually had um, a situation where, where in 1970, the government was, was encouraged to set up some way to evaluate this. 1970 is when the EPA, Environmental uh, program was put together okay. and you could become responsible for using something you shouldn't. But what I have found is that actually the same chemicals are being used, they just renamed them. Or they reformulated them a little bit and they're even worse than they would in, were in 1962. And so <clears throat> we as individuals have to assume some responsibility in knowing where the problems are and assuming the responsibility to not use things that we know are harmful to us. And so it's an educational process. And that's what you and I are doing today, is trying to help people understand there is a better way. One.